What's up, everyone? It's your homie, Little Sneaks. Hopefully, y'all starting this new year well, in good health and good progress, and any, everything that you wanted in a way to start this new year. And for the year 2022, wishing nothing but the best, love, a lot of progress, health, and success. Now, I've been seeing a um, couple of videos on this topic, and it has been going on for a couple of days now from what I've seen. I just want to give my my opinions, my views about it. I hardly do this sort of videos, but I'm going to start doing this sort of type of videos because, you know what I mean? It's like, I just want to get my, vo my voice out there, and at the same time, let people know how homies like us think, you know what I mean? Well, from the situation between WAC 100 and uh, the homie Thress, from what happened is uh, over the phone conversation, right? Where the homie Thress is simply asking uh, Wack if would he ever sign a, a Hispanic artist or a Southsider, I guess, in, uh, in this matter, because Wack is clearly saying that he will never fuck with the Southsiders, period. In his political, in his views, in his mind, uh, it's understandable in some ways and some levels, of course. But when you have that sort of position, when you already have, um, a legitimate business you know what I mean and clearly it's like um you're out here you're not in the in pen, penitentiary in jail and still gotta live under certain rules or be under certain ways you know what I mean we're all here trying to hustle trying to make a living keep it peaceful if possible and if anything we were able to work together that would be a blessing because that would show everybody that there could be a difference and there would be a difference them seeing something like that but why clearly he said from what he said, right? Not just that he won't, like, uh, fuck with any Southsiders or anything like that. But then he goes off the rails about kind of making fun of, uh, fun the way we kind of, like, dress here and there are sort of attire or this and that. And it's like, why well, you got to go through that sort of route? When the homie uh, clearly was showing you respect and love, even though he was going off topic like that. The homie kept this composed, you know, the homie kept this cool, never said anything back, didn't even raise his voice, which much love and respect for you for that. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't know if I would have, like, handled it that sort of way, not saying it would have been right either, but at the same time, I'm like, why did this dude gotta say all this sort of other shit, right? Because if it would have been us saying certain things about, like, blacks in certain ways, like, oh, we ain't gonna fool no fuck with you because of this or that, they're making fun of their sort of style in a ways, then it would have been a backlash for sure, right? that were racist, this and that, and and so on. So whether Wack is racist or not, I'm not, it's not my, my, uh, uh, I'm not gonna speak on that, because what he's talking about just like politics shit, basically, right? Like street politics, jail politics, however you want to call it, but it's like I'm saying, it's understandable what's the he just didn't get off the rails, he shouldn't have gone off the rails like that. And also the other cats that were with them having his backs. I don't know where they were staying at, like from the East Coast, Midwest. You know, they had their own opinions too about it. And also saying like, oh, we don't fuck with them Mexicans, Southsiders, this and that, and blah, blah, blah. Well, if that's the case, let me, um, sh let me um, show you something, right? I want you to hear this. If you never heard this before, maybe this will be your first time. I'm pretty sure Wack has heard this before. But let me play you once again just to give it a little reminder, all right? Again, what are the rules and regulations? Then it becomes a disappointment. And I feel like a lot of these guys watch TV and they see it. And then a couple of guys come from out of town and they brainwash them and they get them. And then they just gang banging for no reason. So it's like when we was doing it, we was brought up in it. We un consequences these youngsters that's in it now don't understand the consequences they don't realize that their life is on the line every five minutes and then when you find a young rapper who takes on the gangbang mode who ain't from california and he goes to california and there's some real niggas ride up on him <laughs> from the other side so where you from nigga ain't no where you from nigga what you was claiming mm, we didn't already did our youtube re youtube research on you and all that yeah. nigga. you flagging that shit nigga and you ain't really a real one so me personally I feel like if you banging outside of California, stay there. Because mm. if you come back to California... Say that again. Say that again. Please. We're a nationwide Please. snoop. If say that you again. you are banging outside of California, Bloods or Crips, you need to stay there. Because if you come back to California where it originated at, we have different sets of rules and regulations that 
don't apply to you niggas, and you will become victim of a circumstance. Ask some of these rappers who waving their flags around that ain't from California. <laughs> We've seen it. We're on YouTube. Yeah, that they came, and, and them is my homies. Mm -hmm. And them wow. niggas ain't the toughest and niggas in the world. do you pull them guys aside and be like, yo, listen, what are you Give doing, them a pass dog? Or like, like, do you, do you hip them? Like, yo, listen, listen, little homie. I've always expressed on songs, if you come to L.A., you need to get at a couple of people. I'm one of them. Mm -hmm. If you don't get at me, you're in trouble. So they can flash that Snoop pass Snoop and be on their way? Because I'm peace and I'm love. I don't have problems with nobody, no issues. Nobody I have problems with. So if you come through on my behalf, people are going to give you the strength of me. Mm -hmm. Man, we got love for Snoop Dogg, so we can't do nothing to him because we don't want to offend Uncle Snoop. <laughs> and that's like me. When I come, when I come through the East, yeah. there's certain people I got to reach out to. I just can't just be prancing around New York like I got it like that. So as you can see, what Snoop said, right? You can check out the full video if you want to. It's on YouTube. But I'll cut it right there. But as he said, all right? He said what he said, but what I am what I like from what he said, though, is like, you know what I mean? People who mention this name, you know, people, those sort of people will come with love and respect, especially um, him giving that sort of pass, right? Not let's say whack, for instance, now. Or like freaking, um... Oh, Wack comes over here, so now you got the, he's, he has a sort of reputation of he don't fuck with any stuff, so he doesn't even want to. So that means his sort of circle and all his peace, wherever it may be, will feel that way. So it's like, why should he even bother, you know what I mean, messing with the dudes? Is obviously these dudes are politicking in that sort of way, right? So even if, um, what do you call it? If Wack were to come out, apologize somehow in some way, um, it would not make a big difference, at least I would think in my mind, because it was, like I'm saying, we all have our certain moments, right? When we get heated, maybe have a little liquor, uh, you're having a bad day, you're going to fight with your girl, whatever the case may be, right? But when someone has, was clearly not raising his voice, not showing no disrespect whatsoever, uh, not, you know what I mean, being disrespectful to any type of hoods or whatever, then you have somebody who was doing that, it clearly shows that this guy has hate in his heart, right? At least to me it does. Especially towards our people and, well, Southsiders in general, right? Um, even if he were to come out and apologize, I don't know what type of difference that would be because obviously he feels the way he feels, right? It's not going to be like, oh, all right, I changed my mind, I'm going to fucking sign a Southsider now so everybody will look and be different, you know? So, at least what I think, if this dude really don't like Southsiders at all, Mexicans, whatever, all of us, you know, then we should stop supporting this dude. Whoever does support this guy and any one of his artists is just like, stop. Show them that the Southsiders, like, as far as our people, you know, we, we are the listeners. We are the, the also the grinders on this now that we wish, wish to have a platform and be in that sort of position like Wack and a lot of artists is, right? Especially being like a CEO of a legitimate record companies and stuff like that being able to make moves open doors for anybody who wants to um to do music or mess with us or somehow bring change to the game and and change the the world as it is the neighborhoods of us uniting together of any some blood shits here and there you know so in my opinion is we should all like really stop supporting this guy and everything until like I don't know, he opens, <laughs> he kind of has a big change of heart in a lot of ways, but I don't know how this type of, um, how he would change on that end, and shouldn't have been talking about certain things, man, that's in my opinion. As far as for me, I love to mess with anybody that I can mess with, sure, in our teenager years, if you ever go back, hear our music, I'm not just saying to me, anybody, any artist in general. You know, when we're, when we're first coming up grinding, hustling, especially coming out of the streets, sort of say, depending on the hood that you live in, I guess, um, we will say certain things on certain ways, whatever the case may be. But as, as years go on, as the game goes on, our lives go on, you know, advance, all this sort of thing, all of us have done change with that. You know, I myself changed a lot in a way that I would love to mess with anybody in Northern California, just to show that, I could, we could make a change, make a difference, you know what I mean? To make good music. Not throwing over here um, sets and stuff like that to cause more bloodsheds or anything like that, but just to show the love. I even show, I even uh, said that in one of my uh, one of my videos where I talked saying that we're, whether it be blacks, Norteños, 
anybody if you if you love my music you love how i do it and you see we could do music by all means you guys should hit me up we could do music you know what i mean that's what that's the difference i want to been, been wanting to do for a while you know things happens in our personal lives that we get caught up and not record like myself you know because i'm a single father at the moment so i've been with my son and it's hard doing this and of course working and all this sort of things and but still though at the end of the day it's a passion for me i feel like it's never gonna stop you know what i mean like for me making music at least right i love to bring up other people a lot of mess with other people in general who will love to mess with me but hopefully y'all doing well though uh for the start of this 2022 like i'm saying wishing nothing but the best good harmony peace and you know i mean be careful out there because it's not just the politics that's going on with the government and all this sort of things especially because you know who was in office before and still going it's like we gotta not deal with this stuff too also from the streets if it's from the streets you know what i mean you're from it with all respect you know i don't understand how a lot of you guys um you know just keep it on the dl and handle the business when it comes but to be spreading saying stuff like this out there and letting it out there like that um it's just gonna cause more more chaos in certain areas innocent people would die you know Innocent people could get hurt. Little kids could get hurt. Families could get hurt. I'm trying to end the nonsense, man. We should spread that love and peace already. So for your homeboy, Little Snakes, from California, Southern California, you know, let it be known that we all got love, man. If you love the music, we love you all too. You know what I mean? If you're from the streets, then we love you all too. We're all here, we're all struggling, man. Let's make that living, let's make that peace, and show that unity. Much love. Adios. Good and evil, ink.